Well, one of the keys that we recognize when we start to look at the Bible, we realize that uh, prayer and or intercession and worship really go together. We look at the scriptures in Isaiah and we can see clearly where Isaiah seemed to have sung many of his scriptures. Um, and so, so we really believe that uh, the music gives a, 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 a support to the sound of the intercessor. And the sound of the intercessor simply is the sound of somebody who's willing to stand in the gap and declare, uh, declare the things of God. Um, so we're excited to even be um, a part of this great prayer movement. And as musicians and singers, it doesn't omit us from, from, uh, from this event, but actually we join together with all those who are praying and we pray together. And just in many ways, we just sing the prayers that we, that, that we, we feel that God's inspired us to do. So um, that's part of it. Well, we're really hoping to see um, what I call a revival. I know it's a word that's used over and over and over again. And history dictates that there's been many, many revivals in this nation. We can talk about the Welsh revival. We can talk about revivals that have broke out in, in Scotland. We can talk about throughout the 50s and 60s, bare pockets. But we really believe that there is a revival that's coming in this land. We believe that God is once again stirring up his people. The Bible says that God does not reveal anything in the earth unless he first speaks to his prophets and what's amazing is that we are the product of a prophecy in Acts it says that in the last days I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh and my sons and daughters will begin to prophesy we are prophesying in actually well, we're a product of that prophecy so it seems at that we are a prophetic generation and God is saying to us that I am bringing revival will you be a part of this revival so we're hoping that a day of prayer will begin to stir up every town, every city, every village, every hamlet, every home will experience a move of God like never before. We're not talking about the past because we know we can measure things by the past, but we're talking about where we will see souls saved. We will see the urban areas, the inner areas, people turn to Christ. We'll see the mansions and the rich houses and the lands turn over to Christ. I believe that this revival will be social. I believe it will be spiritual. I believe it will be political because this is what God is saying this generation will see his glory and we are part of that expression of his glory so when we come together there's an overflow that we take away from these amazing events and this event is not just an event but I call it an encounter and if you see it as an encounter it means that you walk away from here like walking away from the upper room and something happens where you're captivated by this spirit of revival that what once captured Wesley and captured some of the amazing men who proclaimed the gospel throughout this country I feel that this is a generation that's going to go forth I'm really passionate as you can see but this is really good because we want everyone every Christian regardless of your colour regardless of what church you go Baptist, Methodist Church of England, we want the fire of God to hit this nation like never before. And when we join in with prayer, we tune in to what the heavens are saying and we step out and begin to resonate the things of God. Amen. Amen.